from Jordan Peele and Universal Pictures. It is the collector's edition 4K Ultra HD release of Nope. Starring Kiki Palmer, Stephen Young, and Daniel Kalua. Now, Jordan Peele's movies are always different. And I remember when I seen the trailer for this one, I was excited about it. Um, now, here's the thing. I think this is probably, at the end of the day, the weakest of his movies. That don't mean it's a bad movie. I'm not saying it's a bad movie. I enjoyed it. But I, I think in the thick of things, it's the weakest. And I'm bad with character names, but he and her and their father like basically train horses and have them in commercials and movies and all that stuff. And tragedy happens right early in the film. And they're basically left with the business. And things aren't going that good. And to make matters worse, um, there appears to be something in the sky that is killing people killing animals killing people and they have to investigate it because they're like well if this is a ufo if we get the perfect shot of it and we can make all our troubles go away by selling the footage and and getting rich off of it so that's basically the plot in its core Stephen young here plays a former child actor who is buying horses off of these guys basically but he's also got some other stuff going on but his backstory is, is he was the survivor of a, like a, he was on a children's show and a monkey kind of goes crazy and keeps started attacking everybody on the set. And he's kind of like the survivor from that. So that's his backstory. We visit that sometimes and I'm sure there's some deeper meaning and whatnot in his story. But in this particular movie, altogether, it's very interesting. There's some funny stuff, uh... I think it finishes pretty strong, but there's still some questionable things. And it kind of wraps up a little too cutesy for, for me personally. But the biggest problem I had with it was definitely Kiki uh, Palmer here. who Her character I just found to be overly annoying. And I know people tend to love her performances and they love her as an actress. And I'm sure she's done some great roles, even though I can't think of too many Kiki Palmer roles at the moment. There's something about... Her here is just, I found it very over overbearing. Now, this fella, that, um, you know, Daniel Kalua, who's playing the lead here, he gives a very based, very simple, but a good enough performance. And he holds the movie together for what it's worth. And I'd like to see more Stephen Yen, because I like him. I like him in Walking Dead, still think they should have called Audible and saved Glenn there. But outside of that, uh, and, and nope, I feel the movie ends up being a three out of five. So definitely worth checking out. Uh, well made looks great, but it does have some questionable flaws and whatnot packed with extras though, making of a 56 minute exclusive look behind the scenes. That is uh, deleted scenes, gag reel and more. There's our monkey in question there. I was telling you about there's our cast. That dude in the middle is a guy that they uh, meet when they go to, you know, by the cameras, and he ends up coming to help install the equipment and all that, and he's actually a pretty interesting character. He sticks around. So, yeah, the thing in the sky, you know, they have to figure out what it is exactly, if it's aliens or something else, and they have to figure out all the ins and outs of what is going on. So, yeah, it's a good movie in general. Not as good as Get Out, and not as good as Us, although I think it's probably just barely under us although get out is i think a masterpiece but this one's available now from universal it's worth a watch again i hate to you know say the same stuff and almost every review i don't know about the rewatch value of this one but there's definitely some hidden meaning behind stuff and some metaphors and all that good stuff but uh step down but still solid enough so nope is very much worth watching just maybe not worth revisiting after you've watched it.